Now you've got wrist pain from following all that crazy stuff from the tits and teeth body weight plan. Well, I'm going to show you how to take it away with this blanket. Now, if you went from literally no body weight training whatsoever to lots of press ups, uh, burpees and squat thrusts, and pretty much just having your hands always on the floor, then you're gonna start getting wrist pain unless you've already got some now. And particularly because when you go into too much extension, um, the wrist has pretty much got nowhere to go at times. So there's a couple of things that I wanna share with you in this video that can help you continue training and just alleviate that wrist pain. Now the first one that I want you to consider then is you can put like um, a towel or a blanket on the floor, I've got Coleman's here, and what this will allow you to do is just raise the heel of your hand, which is this part here, off the floor and that will literally eliminate uh, that extension and allow you to continue doing that press up. What it also allows you then is to still have that wide fingers which is gonna be great for um, uh, supporting the shoulder and then just continue to do that press up. So if I get into position then, wide fingers, heels are elevated off the floor and then lower down under control as normal. When I get to this point, I can sink into the blanket, keeping nice and tight and then pushing back up. So I can continue to do that. What I also want to think of then is rather than just do a press up and then leave it there, I want to then just um, do some wrist rolls just to alleviate that pressure and move the, uh, the wrist through a different range of um, movement as well. And then the other one is because you've been pressing into extension, you can also slightly distract, distract the joint and then pull it into the opposite way so I can move into a little bit of wrist flexion. You can do that for say five um, to 10 reps each side. But because I'm here, I still want to utilize this and then work the opposite side of my body. So if I literally turn around, place my heels on like that, and excuse my feet, I've been out in the garden all day, and then I can do some, some floor work as well. So from here then, I'm going to literally pull the ribcage down, abs nice and tight, and then heels up to my butt, and then keeping the abs engaged, I'm going to just lift up into that bridge position and then slowly push back down and I can do that for like a number of reps and that just means that I'm utilizing uh, the kit that I have and literally working the front and the back at the same time then let's say for example I do 10 reps of that um, that bridge I can then sit up again just do some wrist rolls just to take that pressure off five to ten reps and then I can go back in to my press ups literally like so so um, that's a, a couple of considerations. Now, even if you don't have wrist pain, I'd probably start doing this now to just stop that from happening. Now, if you've got any questions based on this or anything else you want me to cover um, from a body weight point of view or training at home, then just leave a comment below and I'll try and make some relevant content for you. Thanks very much for tuning in.